Hello my Vasoka Universe and welcome to another big collection video. This time with the Asian Cup having just started, I decided let's have a look at my Asian jerseys. Uh, which is very curious because as I said already in my Asian Cup preview video, which you can still watch here, although there have been already a few games being played. Um, that back in 2019 at the last Asian Cup, this year, the Australia 2006 shirt was the only Asian jersey that I had in my collection. Meanwhile, it's not a big collection, but it's already at 9, which I'm really, really happy about. And, you know, tendency is always growing, although um, Asian teams, the big ones, have very interesting jerseys. Uh, East Asia very often also but especially western asia the arab nations the jerseys are often not that great which is a little bit of a shame because i think there would be quite some interesting ideas that one could put into the designs so yes let me show you my asian jerseys i will show you each them tell you a little bit of a tidbit uh, about each one of them and then at the end we have all the Asian jerseys hanging uh, here. And I'm going to go chronologically uh, from my oldest ones is 2006, which is this one. We have a few more uh, 2006 as well. And then we go from the oldest to the newest. And I think I'm not wrong to say that we will start out with a bang. And we kind of end it with a bang as well and have some... Um, I think they're all kind of interesting, but some middles in there as well and i want to start out with yes 2006 australia was still not an asian team they joined after the world cup in 2006 but they faced an asian team in there who had what i considered back then and still if i think about it still is the best jersey at the world cup which is of course japan i remember wondering i did not like all that many jerseys at that world cup but i remember looking at this japan jer uh, jer jersey and thinking they have done this really nicely that uh, pattern the team guys pattern to kind of hide it away with these wavy lines a little bit more which made it really really cool looking and then also having the two blue tones and still the old style crest in yellow made for a really gorgeous look. Unfortunately, Japan was not that great. Yes, they lost their first game against Australia. Here's the jersey matchup, which is always something I like to have. Uh, but they made a splash with that jersey. And I want to say, nah, 2007 Asian Cup was <laughs> Iraq that won it, but they were also one among the favorites there. It took me until 22 to get this jer uh, jersey. It's a blank, has the Japanese flag here on the back. And I actually like this, that we have only just here the uh federation logo and then we have just the flag on the back nowadays they have both on, on the front which looks a little bit overcrowded but this is a gorgeous jersey so happy to have it is my only japan home jersey and yes i bought it i think it was my valentine's present in 22 uh, we bought it from a uh, vintage football area in france the other the third jersey the third asian jersey from the 2006 world cup is a team that I actually saw play at that World Cup, Saudi Arabia. It's also a jersey I got ahead of the last World World Cup. I actually wanted to have the Saudi Arabia jersey probably uh, that they had in 2020. That was a really nice looking one, of course, was you could not really get it. I think the green one was really, really spectacular. Uh, the white one also, but then, you know, I was looking around and uh, this one popped up. It was not easy to get a Saudi Arabia jersey. But I have, have to say, uh, this Puma template is not so bad. Yes, I think the current logo is better, but I really like that there's the palm tree on there. And um, yeah, other than that, it's rel relatively plain. It has the green arc on the back. But what I really enjoy uh, this one is that, yeah, I saw Saudi Arabia play in this one against Spain in the dead rubber last game. But hey, <laughs> this is a jersey that I have even emotional connection to, which is always something important if you've seen my video on my collection strategy. Uh, and therefore, yeah, I'm quite happy to have this one. This is also, uh, I want to say, a basic shirt. The other Puma, the most Puma pushers had this really weird material. This one's a slightly thicker one. So I think this is more of a basic shirt than uh, most of the other Puma shirts from 2006 World Cup or around the time that I have. Yeah, I think 
let's put it up on the wall. Now the next jersey is a truly unique one. It's from the World Cup and now Asian Cup hosts Qatar. And of course, Qatar jerseys are not easy to come by uh, at all. I was actually thinking I might get the one from the World Cup that Nike made and play pay full price. And then it is found on vintage football area. This one here, their second ever Burda jersey. Now, on the uh, Football Kid Archive, this is actually rated as the worst Qatar jersey. And I don't quite get it because it is really, really cool. I like the floppy collar. Uh, the Burda logo is maybe a little bit weird, but I actually like this. The Qatar crest. I have to say among most Arab crests, I really like this one. And especially if you use a football in your crest, do it like Qatar. Look at all the detail that is in that football. It makes it really look cool, I have to say. And then you have this slight pinstriping effect in the material, which is always something really nice and classy. So uh, if you look up, up close, it's similar to the Roma 2014 shirt. Add to it a little bit the white uh, cuffs here and the white tail on the bottom. I have to say, this is a pretty amazing shirt. It is, it is special, still has tags attached. So it's an original. It was not cheap, a little bit cheaper if I would have gotten the one from the World Cup. But I find for the age, it's a really extraordinary jersey. It also has the cutter flag here on the back. So yeah, that's my cutter jersey for now. I actually like the away jersey from the World Cup as, as, as well, but I don't see a huge need of getting a cutter jersey, if I'm honest. Okay, now come three jerseys from 2010 and I actually wanna uh, show you first a jersey that I think was a little bit underrated at the, uh, at, at the World Cup, which is of course my other Australia jersey. Uh, it does a little bit have this uh, popsicle effect here, you know, uh, you have the yellow here, then the white and then the red, and the US had a very similar one at the 2014 World Cup. Uh, but I actually enjoyed that design because I really liked that the green is always nice when it pops for Australia. The one thing I don't like is if you have this green shoulder here and the white line, why don't you have it on the back as well? This looks a little bit weird. So this was always a little bit weird to, to me, but I actually like it. And this is the Australia shirt that I use a little bit more, mostly because uh, it's a cloth crest as compared to this one, which is printed on and I have to be careful to uh, not get it away. Uh, it of course has on the inside, never say never. All the Nike shirts back had it there. Then there's also the Southern Cross uh, in there as well. Now I got this one from Wilhaben for a relatively good price. Also ahead of the 22 World Cup. You see a theme already in here. I thought it's good to have another Australia shirt. I do have to have to say I feel a little bit sad that I don't have an Australia away jersey because I remember uh, when I got this one in Kaiserslautern ahead of Spain's game against Saudi Arabia. I really was thinking, uh, should I get the dark one? Should I get the yellow one? And I said the yellow one is more Australia. And now I have another one. I really would like to have a really nice looking Australia away jersey. The one from 2016 was really, really nice. The next jersey is also from the 2010 World Cup and arguably an even better jersey than the Australia jersey. The Australia jersey has a simple look, but there's no, no patterning on it. This one is absolutely classy and I didn't even realize it at the time. But I realized this when I had this jersey finally in my hands. Again, we'll have my head of the World Cup. We talk, of course, the South Korea home jersey. And I really wanted to have one with the old crest. And uh, this was when South, South Korea actually made it to the next round out of their group. Although they were a little bit lucky against Nigeria, to be honest. And at first, if you look at it from the back, yeah, it's kind of uh, red with a little bit um, blue. The tiger is already cool enough. But then, you know, there's some tiger strapping in there makes it instantly instantly cooler. This is a really, really, really nice shirt. I had my ups and downs with Korea to, to be honest, but I have to say at that time I had made my piece and I thought that Korea actually played really well at this World Cup and deserved everything that they got out of that World Cup. That's for sure. And unlike Australia, the pattern continues also on the, on the back. What a gorgeous shirt this is. And you know, I like my animal prints and Korea making use of the tiger that will always get get me so a really really nice beautiful jersey i gotta say now comes arguably the worst of the bunch uh 
I need an Iran jersey for the World Cup. They had qualifying. There were some really nice ones, especially the one for the 2014 World Cup. Yes, there were some quality issues with those. But I really like them with the uh, with the Jita print on there and they have keeping them up ever since. Of course, the jerseys from Iran are impossible to get here. So I was kind of always hanging around. Will I get an Iran jersey? I found one. And I found one for relatively cheap, including the pants, which I didn't necessarily need. But I found this at Sports Bar at the beginning of 22. <sighs> the 2010 jersey by Legea. Now, it's a long sleeve, which is cool. And I actually think that the effect of having one sleeve with the green and the other one with the red, having the flex colors, that's actually pretty cool. I also find that the soccer player here in the country's colors is pretty cool. It's just that the way that the jersey is made, the piping is really odd. I mean, you have some green here, you have some red here. Yes, that's the flag, but what's that? This is why I, I was never much into Legea. I mean, the few Legea shirts I have are not among my favorites. Add to that that I really dislike the Iranian crest and it doesn't add much to this jersey, to be honest. Uh, I have it, I have the pants also but it doesn't do much for me uh, except that it serves the purpose that I use this jersey. This is the classic, absolutely the classic uh, channel jersey for, 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 for me because otherwise I wouldn't have gotten it. As I said, there are some really nice Iran jersey and I mean there, there are some nice features for the, for the shirts. I mean the way this is stitched in, the IRIFF, uh, that's pretty pretty cool. I do like that they put the country's colors kind of on there but the way it's done doesn't seem right uh, you know get at least a flag band across or something like that like they had at the 98 World Cup those jerseys were also not the great but actually they were in a way they were they were a little bit more outstanding than this one so yeah uh, another nice thing is similar to the Qatar jersey that um, there is a slight pinstriping effect to the material uh, which gives to me uh, makes it a little bit more class looking Unfortunately, the template completely lets it down. But yeah, it's my Iran jersey. I won't complain. I have one. At least I have one. And for that, and I didn't pay an arm and a leg to get it. So that should count for something. And it's a long sleeve, my only long sleeved Asian shirt. There you go. Okay, two more. And both of them are absolutely excellent shirts. And both of them are from East Asia. And the first one is, I want to say again, 2022, and this was a New Year's present. First shirt, I think I unpacked in, 20, in, in 22. It's an absolute stunning shirt. The Korea Away jersey. I told you I, love it. I like my animal prints. I like my tiger prints. Uh, no Africa team will ever have a tiger print. That is for Asia. Um, I love the shirt the moment I saw it. I said this is something completely unique, completely different. It's a shirt that I actually really like to wear. I have not worn it to work it. Probably I should at one point to really have people wonder <laughs> what this is. I also like the gold in there. I mean, the, the one thing is if you have the number, you basically have to have the box back there. That's maybe the only thing. But um, I have to say in 2020, Nike released some really outstanding shirts and this is one of them. And that's despite the color being absolutely awful. This is this Croatia had that one as well. You know, it's basically this square collar that they made in the round and then this very thick back uh, here. It's not a great collar. <laughs> it's an absolutely awesome shirt and you don't even worry about the collar because uh, all your attention is drawn to this pattern. Absolutely gorgeous, <laughs> absolutely gorgeous. And then to add to it, they have the print here, South Korea on the side as well. And yes, I was not so fond of this breaking, but it doesn't matter here. The new logo in gold also look, look cool. I have to say I am not so fond of this one. I understand why they did it, but a the rectangle doesn't look good. And I have to say the tiger, I don't know. I like the other tiger better. It looks too, it looks too much with Asian eyes to me. It's a little bit too stereotypically and uh, bordering the offensive. But I guess the Korean Federation signed off on it. So I guess uh, it's not, but I always found this tiger a teeny bit odd looking, but hey, that's me. Any case, uh, of all the Asian shirts that I have, this is probably my favorite. 
it's probably my favorite uh, because it's so out there and I really hope I can wear it a lot during my Asian Cup review videos. I hope Korea does do well just because of this shirt. Okay, and the last jersey is the one that's worn, hopefully also worn at this Asian Cup and was uh, not worn at the World Cup, but it was released for that World Cup. Uh, and we're talking, of course, I have to get the sleeve out, the Japan away jersey from that World Cup. I know most people were crazy about the home jersey. I actually thought that the away jersey is much, much better, much, much cleaner. The color does look a teeny bit weird. I think it would have been better if this inset was um, here. Um, a different color, maybe white. I think then the color would look fine. So it's a little bit too boxy here. That's my only complaint. I really like that you have the origami pattern, but you have it in this kind of 3D effect. Oh, I tried this with 3D glasses. There's no effect uh, on there because I think it's too big. Uh, but there is something really nice about it. Uh, it does give you a little bit it adds an interesting pattern while having overall a really, really clean shirt. Uh, the new Fed Federation crest is a little bit more traditional. If you look at this one, this has a more unique shape. This is just your regular shield. Otherwise, it looks very similar. Um, maybe in white, the white background looks even better on this shirt as well. You have the new Adidas logo, but it's all about the sleeves. I mean, the sleeves are spectacular. We also have now a Japan flag here on the, uh, on the back again, which I think is always something that adds to the, um, to the shirts if the flag is on the back and not above here. I think this is too crowded for my liking. The other thing I really like, like about the shirt, it would have been so easy for Japan to have this panel here, on almost all the other jerseys, this panel is colored in the same color as the uh, side strap here. They have it in white. Imagine the Germany jersey, just uh, just like that. It makes it, it gives it a whole lot more class. And don't have this block here. So this is what I like in in in, in addition. This makes this to me an absolute stas, a, a standout. Yes, the tail. They do, like all the other others, that is mostly on the back. But that, I don't mind. I think that's actually a really nice touch. But have, not having this panel color, so that this panel here is in white, really, really, really adds to this jersey. And as I said, I think this is a really nice jersey. Yes, I paid almost full price for this. Like I think I got 10% off when I bought it ahead of the World Cup. But it's an absolute gorgeous shirt. And so there you go. Uh, it's also one that I like to wear and this one I even have to warn to work because it's just really really cool looking. So there you go. Here are all my Asian shirts in one picture. Maybe I should move over here. <laughs> that you see most of them, all my Asian shirts plus the Australia shirt that I have here. Let me know which ones you like and which one you dislike. Now the question is uh, what do you have more? For, uh, are there any other jerseys that I would like to have? Um, number one, really high up the list, is China. And China, because I've been to China. Uh, and I always want to have jersey from every country that I've, I have been to. And I think the only country that I've been to where I don't have a jersey yet is China. So, need to get a China jer uh, jersey. I was there in 2003 and they had at the airport the, world, the jersey the world, at the World Cup. And I know that the reason that I bought it uh, was not so much financial, but the simple <laughs> reason was I thought it's too simple of a jersey. Does you know it's just a red jersey with a little, little bit white with a Chinese flag on there? Uh, that doesn't really cut it. Uh, it still doesn't really cut it, uh, honestly. But most China jerseys were like that. I have been looking around, and yeah, there are some really interesting ones. I know that the one from 2018, the black one that was never worn, is probably the best ever. Uh, but I would like to have a red one, and I think in 2008 and in 2010. Where they had the Chinese wall kind of represented on there. Those were highlights. I also think that the first few Nike shirts were really, really nice. As of late, it becomes more run of the mill, although I do like the new China crest. That is an absolute must. Also, I have to say, I have a liking for the India jerseys. I think the color scheme with the blue and the orange looks quite uh, nice, but then I find India is, you know, they should become a world power given their pop population, but I don't see it coming any anytime soon. But it would be fun to have an India jersey. There's also a tiger print on the 2019 jer uh, jersey um, that I could see. 
I would love to have, as I said, an Australia away jersey. A green Saudi Arabia jersey would also not be a bad idea in, in a way. So Saudi Arabia, I would love to have a better looking Iran jersey. I think this is where I'm at with my Asian jerseys. And if I can add here, here, there would actually be nice, I have to say. But I, you know, especially the Arabic jerseys, as I said, I think the UAE had some really nice ones at the last uh, Asian Cup. Uh, Oman also had some really nice ones. Those I wouldn't mind having. But over, overall, it will depend largely Can who will qualify for the World Cup. And I see myself mostly adding Japan and Korea jerseys and Australia jerseys. I said Australia with jersey should also happen. So this is where my mind is at with Asian jerseys. It's not the largest part of, of the collection, as I said. Um, Asia is probably a little bit of an overlooked uh, federation overall. I mean, Europe, South America, uh, kind of especially Africa, take precedence over this uh, continent. But there are some interesting shirts in there. You know, we'll see how it will develop. In any case, let me know what you think about my Asian collection. Let me know which Asian jerseys you have. And I will talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.